I'm ready. Okay. Are you recording? Yep. Okay. So basically, the difference between American and Canada is American is only supportive for a few types of people. Because, like, America is a very go, 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 get stuff done system. Meanwhile, in Canada, there's different things for every type of person. Like, if somebody requires, like, learning that's slow, there's going to be help for them. And, like, if they need a different type of learning, there's going to be help for them, always. But in America, um, luckily I'm one of those people who it's beneficial for, but, like, I had some friends who had, like, one of them had ADHD who was drowning in work. And then, like, there were other friends who, like, they were good at certain things, but because they needed to study with certain things they didn't get time to study for other things and then they failed one thing meanwhile they're like actually have to snap the other thing so it's never really enough time for them meanwhile in canada there's always time for stuff and if you need extra help there's time for that extra help well, that's which good. is the difference between canada and america canada is a lot more put together and america is kind of just a we want to waste future corporate zombies because they're telling us to do stuff, they don't give us break, and that's kind of just preparing us for a sad reality that we're going to go up, just go to work, go home, rinse and repeat. That's true. I don't know why this one.